Let's head back to Burbank, California to Bob's Big Boy Drive-In. There are some people that we have had on the show that have such a great collection of cars that we have them on the show again. Mike Malamut, the last time we interviewed you, you had uh, little bubble cars and Izettas and all kinds That's of little right. things. That's right. This, this is about as far from an Izetta or a bubble car as you can get, a 1947 town and country. That's right. You could put a couple Izettas in the trunk of this one. Yeah, well, I see Bear is back, your dog. He's Bear is back. He, he likes this one. It's got more room than the Izetta. That's for sure. How would this come into your collection? Tell well, us about it. It's a special car. I, uh, I have a 41 town and country uh, Woody Barrelback, one of 15 that is left in the world. And I've always enjoyed the sedans. I think they're really a nice family car, plenty of room. Uh, they have a nice look with a rack. I think they're real special. And uh, I've been looking for years to find one, and most of them, the wood's beat up or they're junk. And a real good buddy of mine had this for a few years, and I kind of talked him out of it. He's from Santa Barbara, and he's a friend of mine. And, and he finally says, okay, Mike, you can have it. It's yours. So uh, I'm just fortunate to be a uh, custodian of this nice car. Maybe you can clear up a mystery that's not really a mystery, but Woody's have always been popular, but it's always been station wagons and surfers and all that stuff, and, and sedans like this, I don't think for a long time were appreciated for how incredible they are, and then somebody about, what, 20 years ago flipped a switch, and, and you have to pay huge money yes, for these. Yes, absolutely. The sedans are rare. They didn't build a lot of them, and I think uh, Father is utilitarian. If you compare this to, say, a convertible Lance, this is much more easy easier to drive, to get into, it's got the extra doors, and it's the kind of car that you can grab the family, the dog, jump in, and you're still going to be in style. I think people forget about it. It's got four doors, and they look at the styling, they look at the beautiful curves of the rack, and uh, they love it. The maintenance on the wood, is that something you have to attack once a year, or how do you take care of that? It depends on how much you use it, how much uh, exposure to the sun, but usually every two or three years you'd re-varnish it. This one needs to be done. It hasn't been done in a few years, and uh, it's not that big of a job. You just kind of sand it down, spray some varnish on it, you know, sand it in between coats, buff it, and it'll look like glass, and I plan to do that soon. How is it that somebody that is considered, I think, in the car community worldwide to be one of the premier experts on bubble cars, mini cars, little cars, ends up with such a, such a big car. Well, um, I'm a sort of, as you know, a, a collector, collector, you might say. Uh, I like all cars, and uh, certain cars uh, I have a fancy for. The Woodies, if you go to a Woody show, the people are just so friendly, so cool, warm. Nobody cares. You could drive a nice car like this, or you could drive a car where the wood's falling off, and you're just as welcome. And I just like the people that hang around Woodies, and I ha actually admire the art form. Uh, you know, this was really craftsmanship when they built these cars years ago and even though it's not a micro car it's still uh, beautiful in my eyes and uh, I can appreciate uh, the craftsmanship and the rarity of the car. Well it's beautiful in the eyes of everybody here especially when they come up and say you have to go tape that car. So Mike thank you very <laughs> thank much you for very again much. being nice on the Vintage Vehicle. See you anytime.